If you love purple in your card making, mermaids, unicorns, under the sea, beautiful magical scenes, then this video is for you. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel. It's the first of the month and that means it is time for Spellbinders Kit Club release day, which means that I can unbox the card kit of the month, the small die of the month, and the glimmer kit of the month. So let's jump right into the unboxing. This month's card kit of the month is called Under the Sea Magic. And there is so much in it, just like every single month, the card kits are just packed full of goodies. Of course, there's an inspiration sheet that also lists all of the supplies that are included. There are 10 cards and 10 envelopes. There's foam dots and a roll of double-sided adhesive. There are nine pieces of cardstock with purples, pinks, blues, there's a white, and there's also a piece of the mirror gold. There's a set of 10 dies. You can see they're kind of silly silhouette dies, really easy to use and create a background with or a foreground as well. There's a six by six pattern paper pad, all with those same beautiful colors that you saw in the cardstock as well. And I've showed these before, of course, the die cut pieces. There are tons of them. So many different styles. Some of them have foil elements to them. Some of them are shapes with sentiments. Some are mermaids and more. There are some embellishments. There are gem gemstones. There's a stamp set that has a unicorn, a fairy, and some magical kind of sentiments. There are two sheets of chipboard stickers and an entire sheet of gold alpha stickers. This is the small die of the month and it's kind of hard to tell what it is from all these random pieces, but you can create a person sitting on a beach towel. This is the glimmer kit of the month. Of course, it does come with a roll of foil as well and dies that can cut out the stripes too. As you can see, that is a ton of supplies. I really wanna make sure that you see a little bit of everything. So I'm going to try to go quickly through a whole bunch of cards so you can really check out these supplies in action. For this first card, I do wanna use the dies that come in the card kit of the month. So I've chosen a piece of pattern paper that I'm gonna use as my background, and then I'm choosing pieces of cardstock. Like I mentioned, all of these images are silhouette images, so all you have to do is die cut them out of either black or different colors of cardstock, and I think the different colors look absolutely beautiful in this kit. So I am going to cut down the pattern paper to four by five and a quarter, and lay that on some of the darker blue cardstock. I'm using a chipboard sticker for the sentiment. It says, you're mermazing. And then I'm gonna die cut all the different pieces from the die set so you see everything. There are two mermaids, there are two seahorses, there's a fish, there's some kelp, there are uh, starfish and bubbles, just so many different little elements, but all you really have to do is cut them out of different colors of cardstock and add them to your card. I used the starfish in the mermaid's hair. I thought that was pretty. This was a very simple card to create, but it has a really pretty effect. For this card, I wanna focus on some of the embellishments that are found in the card kit of the month. So I am again cutting down a piece of pattern paper to four by five and a quarter to mat it on some of the lighter lavender cardstock. And then I'm gonna use one of the larger chipboard stickers that has a longer sentiment on it. And then next, I'm gonna use the gemstones and I'm gonna circle around that circular piece of chipboard to complete a just shiny, very simple, easy, quick card. I especially love how the colors of the embellishments match the cardstock and the pattern paper here. Okay, for this next card, I did wanna share some elements from the stamp set. So I have a piece of white cardstock, kind of a slim piece, and I've stamped one of the sentiments that says, you are made of stardust and wishes and magical things. And then I'm doing some multicolor stamping on the unicorn. So I started with my lightest color, and then I did a slightly darker pink. These are all uh, Tim Holt Distress Oxide inks. I'm going to do the same thing with the fairy. I did mostly pinks on the unicorn. I'm going to do some light purples and lavenders on the fairy and again do kind of a gradient of 
color stamping, which is one of the great things about the Misty, obviously, is that you can restamp and restamp and restamp and add different colors. Once I had that done, I did want to add it to some pattern paper and again add some gemstones for embellishment. And again, everything just goes together so well. And if, especially if you have some purple and pink inks, you're going to be good to go with this kit. Okay, for the next card, I did want to use some of the die cuts. So I normally use the little foam squares for my popping up with the card kit, but I did want this big have an enchanted birthday popped up. So I did use some foam tape to not waste all those tiny little foam dots that I have in the kit. Once all my die cuts were popped up, I did add some of those gemstones. You can see again, the pattern paper has gold foiling and I matted it on the gold mirror cardstock as well. Okay, let's play with the small die of the month. This one has lots of little pieces, but it is very simple to put together. So I am cutting everything out of different colors of cardstock and like the bag, the beach bag, I'm cutting out of pattern paper as well as the bathing suit I cut out of pattern paper. Uh, the only thing that is maybe a little tricky is you need to cut two of the little ribbons that are sort of floating in the wind off the hat and for the um, hat itself it has three pieces it has a larger piece a smaller piece that you can then cut the sentiment out of which is what I'm doing right here I'm going to place the little sentiment oval on top of the pink and then I place that on a darker pink so that you can see the sentiment for the body and the arms I did just color it in with a Copic marker I had cut it out of white cardstock using some liquid glue for all these little pieces except when I do pop things up and I'll share when I do that on purpose to show you exactly how the hat works together. For the towel, you get two dies. You get the main piece, which actually has embossed lines to show you exactly where to put the little stripes. So that was very easy to put together as well. For the hat, we already worked on the brim a little bit. Now this is the part where the head goes into the hat. It's got that little sliver that you put on one edge so it looks like a trim or like a shadow. I decided to cut that out of the gold mirror cardstock. I also cut the handbag uh, handle out of gold mirror cardstock. Okay, to create the background, I'm going to create some sand, and that I am doing with some Distress Oxide in tea dye, and I am just blending it on, but then also adding some texture by dabbing it on. For the sky, I'm using Distress Oxide Tumbled Glass, and then for the water, I am using a Distress Oxide Salty Ocean, which I thought was perfect for the ocean. <laughs> All right, for the towel, I am going to use some liquid glue to adhere it down because it will have trouble sticking to that Distress Oxide if you use Tape Runner. For the body, I am going to pop that up a little bit so it's dimensional, and I'm going to pop up the hat that I've put all the pieces together. The little arms, I'm going to use liquid adhesive to put them underneath. And then the bag and the flip-flops got kind of popped up. There's the second ribbon that I was telling you about. I used a chipboard sticker for the sentiment. And then this is some Hero Arts pearls for some waves and sea foam and little bits in the ocean as well. So easy to put together, but this card is so much fun to make. Let's turn to the glimmer kit of the month. I put the foil plate on my glimmer hot foil system putting some foil with the color side down on top of that and then some of the spellbinders cardstock from the card kit of the month on top of that and then putting my plates on top of that and then I'm going to run it through my platinum machine and when you peel that off you can see you get some nice foil stripes thick thin and medium. I also did it with some rainbow foil to get some different colored stripes on one project. And then I did it also at a diagonal because I wanted some diagonal stripes. So there's lots of ways that you can use this. You could even create a plaid look with it. I did not do that this time, but this is gonna be one that I'm gonna reach for again and again because it's such a great versatile foil plate. The dies actually cut out stripes as well, uh, thick, thin, and medium too. So I am going to alternate the foils at the diagonal that we had, and then I'm going to put some of the die cut white cardstock at the diagonal. They stretch a little 
over the cardstock that I'm working with, that's okay. Just flip it over and cut off that excess there. And I'm just using tape runner to adhere these strips down because there's nothing underneath them other than cardstock. So you can just use basic tape runner, which then makes it really easy to just flip it over and cut it off. You don't have to wait for liquid glue to dry here. The tape runner makes this a much quicker process. And definitely use your nonstick scissors even if they stick a little bit. It's better than not using nonstick and having adhesive really gum up your scissors. Okay, so I'm gonna place that down on a light blue piece of A2 cardstock from the card kit again. And I've once again used tape runner to adhere this down. Now I'm just looking through the kit to see if there are some fun die cuts or stickers to use. I found a chipboard sticker that says let's celebrate and then I found lots of gold stars that I thought would be really cute on this scattered on the background there. So this is just a fun celebratory foiled card. For this one I did use the foiled stripes that were from the rainbow foil and I'm going to put them horizontally this time. I do have this little anchor from the card kit that's also gold foil and then I'm going to use the uh, alphabet that little gold alphabet which was the one thing I hadn't used from the kit yet so this is perfect and I'm just going to spell out bon voyage this is a great little have a great trip card to give to a friend or family member I'd love to hear what caught your eye this month let me know in the comments below if you like Kit Club reviews, card making tips, tricks, and techniques, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell so you can be notified every single time I have a new video available. As always, I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. Okay, that was really fast. Let's just hope, right? I mean, we can always redo it. Always time to redo it when you start early, like I am right now. Yay for not procrastinating. <laughs> Amy.